This is my new Champion Power Equipment Model 200961 2500 watt dual fuel generator. This is going to be a test run operating a Stanley 25 amp battery charger to charge the dual batteries on a Dodge diesel pickup truck. We're going to run this generator on propane and I'll now show how to get the propane hooked up. The propane comes on this handy, uh, the propane regulator comes on this handy clip that attaches right to the handle of your generator. So first, attach the regulator to the gas bottle and unclip the hose. Notice the little black plastic prong here? That goes in that hole on the face of the generator, like this. And then you just push until the connection clicks and you're done. Turn the gas on, listen for leaks, and then to start, you first have to prime the regulator and this hose and on this generator you do that by pulling the starter several times until you feel the engine try to start. One, two, three, all right. The generator tried to start. That means the propane hose is primed. You turn it the dial to the propane setting and then pull a few more times and it should start. If it doesn't, you prime it again with choke. Yes, it's on choke. And the gas is on. I can smell propane. It should be primed enough. Okay, set to propane. All right. Ah. There we go. The generator really will not want to start until the regulator and the hose are fully primed with propane. Now, the generator defaults to eco mode. And you can see on the front panel, that little green light, I'll zoom in on it here. That little green light there that's left on the panel, the one that's got the little leaf shape right above the red plastic plug, that's the eco light. It means the generator is running at slow speed and that is the default. It will always start and default on eco mode. Okay, then now we'll plug in the power cord to the, to the starter. And you always start this generator with nothing plugged into it. Plug the loads in after the generator is up and running.
there's the the uh, the battery charger. And you can see the battery charger is pulling 25, or rather outputting 25 amps, its normal load. And note that the generator is still running on eco mode. This, the battery charger is drawing about 420 watts out of the generator at 121 volts. And the generator can easily supply 420 watts still running on eco mode, which is good news. Fuel consumption on the higher wattages goes up considerably. That's the truck, and you can see that it is a dual battery Dodge three quarter ton Ram diesel. All right, that's the setup. Now I'm going to move the camera so I can show you the tachometer. This is the run leader tachometer and hour meter, and it's got lots of functions. What it mainly shows you on the default panel is the total running time, which at the moment is 0 0.7 hours, and the, num the 4.3 number to the right is how many hours to go to the first oil change, which is five hours. And then at the moment it's running at 3,850 RPM. Um, you will see that number fluctuate up and down between 3,810 and 3,850. Um, how it senses the RPM is you see the little black wire? You take five or six wraps of that wire around the spark plug cable and it senses the ignition pulses and you adjust the RPM reading by adding or subtracting turns of wire around the spark plug cable. The true RPM is probably 30, somewhere between 3600 and 3700. Uh, it's reading a little high because I may have six or seven turns of wire on the cable, but that's, that's okay because what I really want to know is if there are fluctuations in the RPM level, and it seems very stable. It only varies between 3810 and 3850. Here's where we're going to measure the noise level of the generator. The phone is set up about four feet away from it. So I'll quit talking for a second and let the sound level stabilize. As you can see, it varies from about 50 to about 65 decibels. All right, I've switched the generator out of eco mode into its full speed mode, and here we'll do another sound test.
All right, so there I switched between full speed and eco mode a couple of times so you could see and hear the differences in the sound level. Here's the background noise level in the environment so you can compare to when the generator was running. All right, that concludes this test.